covering the conflict for us from Kyiv is our correspondent Gulliver Cragg, and he joins me live right now. Gulliver, over the last few weeks, you've been speaking to Ukrainians affected by this war in plenty of different ways. And I understand recently you've actually been talking to an employee of a French hardware chain which had a branch in the Ukrainian capital. What have they been telling you? Well, this is Le Roi Merlin. They have several branches in Kiev, and one of them was shelled on the 20th of March and pretty much completely destroyed. And this prompted employees of Le Roi Merlin to write a petition to the companies, the mother company, to ask it to stop trading with Russia in protest, which it didn't want to do, giving various reasons for that. And then what these employees of Laurent Merlin, I've spoken to two of them actually today, and they said that after that they were cut off from all of the company's social networks and barred from visiting the country's uh, stores in Kiev. And what's more, they said, they owed a lot of money to Ukrainian customers whom they weren't able to deliver goods to because of the war in particular, because one of the shops got completely destroyed and that the mother company wasn't helping to pay those Ukrainian customers back. And so they're really up in arms about this and totally rebelling now against the parent company of Leroy Merlin. And they say that they're still using their stores in Kiev and uh, in cooperation with Ukrainian security forces and their own security team, uh, actually using the, the stuff that they've got in those stores to help volunteers and whoever is in need around the capital. But really, they're very angry with the parent company and they want to spread the word about it. Gulliver, meanwhile, tell us a bit more about these reports we're hearing that Russian troops might be redeploying away from where you are in the capital and further east. Is that something you're able to confirm? Well, it's Russia who's said that they're now going to focus on operations in the Donbass. And while there is some evidence of Russian forces leaving the areas north of Kiev and going back to Belarus and Russia, it's only some of them. Certainly, there are still battles going on. We could hear them very loudly last night and today still the occasional booms. And actually, this morning, I was planning perhaps to go to a town that is southwest of Kiev, which has been shelled only sporadically in the course of this conflict. But then I was told by representatives of the Ukrainian interior ministry that it wouldn't be safe to go there today. So perhaps there is still something going on there. And British intelligence is saying that it isn't really expecting the Russian forces to leave this area en masse and that there could be fierce battles in the areas around Kiev to come. So really, Ukrainians are preparing not only, preparing not only for a new Russian offensive in the east of the country, but they're also very much on guard for a potential renewed offensive around Kiev. Perhaps these Russian forces that are leaving are just going to regroup. And as you can see behind me, they're just putting the finishing touches to the total sandbagging of the statue of Princess Olga here in the centre of Kiev. It's the same story around all the major statues and monuments in the city centre because they don't want them to get damaged in the case of eventual potential shelling of central Kiev. Gulliver Craig live in the Ukrainian capital. Thank you very much.